Hello all, welcome to session 83 of Java interview question series. In this session, I'm going to answer a question which has been asked to one of my students during the interviews, okay? So this is the question. So the question is nothing but a program guys, which contains two variables, okay? It's a program which contains two variables and this main method. So what they were expecting as an answer is, what is the output of this program and explain the output, how the output come has come. We need to explain, okay? So let's first understand this program, guys. This program, as you can see, uh, there is a class here known as demo class and uh, the demo class has two variables. One is a static variable, other one is a instance variable, okay? One is a static, other one is an instance variable. Now, inside the main method, we are creating two objects, okay? One and two objects. So how this will happen in the computer memory is when you are creating objects, let's say this is a computer memory. In the computer memory, when you are creating the first object, okay, demo, object one is called new demo. The moment you create an object for this uh, demo class, in the computer memory, some, some space will be, some memory space will be allocated to this object one, okay. This is object one, obj1 is referring to this space, okay, this space. Fine. Now, demo object two is called new demo. Similarly, for another object, some other memory space will be allocated. This is object two. This is object two. Okay. Okay. Two objects got created. So, in these two objects, what will be there? The class variables will be there. That is, instance variables will be there. You see, int b is equal to ten will be there. Here, b is equal to ten will be there. Here also b is equal to 10 will be there okay in object one memory also b is equal to 10 is there object two memory also b is equal to 10 is there because it is an instance variable it will be there for every object memory but first one is a static variable guys okay static variable will not be there in the object memory rather a common memory will be there okay that is a class memory that is demo class memory in the computer memory some memory will be allocated to this demo class inside the demo class the static variable this is static, right? Static variable A is equal to 10 will be there. It's a common memory. It's a common memory. Okay. Now, now guys, here we created two objects. Now what we are trying to do here is object one dot A. Okay, object one. Object in object one, do we have this uh, common memory? I mean, A is equal to 10 is there in the object one? No, right? But using the object difference, you are trying to modify this value. The modified value is common for all the objects. This particular memory is common for all the objects. So if you say object one, which is not a correct approach, but still if you say object one dot A is equal to 20, okay? Here what happens is using the object, you are modifying this common value. So here 10 will go off and 20 will come in this picture. A is equal to 20 will be there now, okay? And this is there in the common memory. Okay, so generally we have to access this variable a using demo dot a, but here we are accessing using object one dot a is equal to 20. So anyhow, the common value got updated. Now object one dot b, object one dot b. Here, this 10 value also will be replaced with 20 here. Okay, here also we got 20. Object one dot b is equal to 20. Okay, now this print statements are expected. First one is object one dot a. Okay, we have to print object one dot a. What is object one dot a? Object one dot a is 20, right? Object one dot a is a common memory, so 20. So here, 20 will be printed in the output. Here, 20 will be printed in the output. Then object one dot b, object one dot b is also 20. Is also 20, guys. Then object two dot a, object two, dot a, a is a common memory, a is in the common memory. So whether you say object one dot a or object two dot a, a common memory value will come, that is 20 will come. Here also 20 will come from the common memory. Then object two dot b, object two dot b is still 10 only. So here 10 will be printed. Okay, so the output will be 20, 20, 20, 10. Okay, run this code and observe the output. 20, 20, 20 and last one is 10. Okay, here the same line they got printed, but uh, the problem is with the editor, okay? So 20, 20, 20, and last one is 10, last one is 10, okay? Fine. 
so hope guys you understood this program now and uh, the output and how the output has come with this explanation hope you got the answer for this question so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to answer another java interview question for you till then see you bye bye